Oh, I just ended up in the drink. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm just heading over here to check on Jeff's new beef farm, which I, I'm not sure how well it's going to work compared to his old method, which was, oh, wow, a lot of chickens there. So the old method was just having a bunch of cows in here, and you just kill them after you breed them. The new method is automated, but for some strange reason, only five cows fit in this pit. Now, I think it has to do with some of the plugins on the server, uh, you know, but after you breed them, and I don't have any wheat, uh, they will uh, pop out a bunch of baby cows, you know, and then the baby cows will just walk around. They'll be fine until they grow up, and then once they grow up, they start suffocating, and I, um, it really is kind of a damper, to be honest, because that's pretty much all we got out of it. You know, not too much. Anyway, uh, you're not here to let me, to, to listen to me lament about chickens and cows. Today, we, uh, well, if I can speed up, we are actually going to work on my tower apartment. I have been waiting for... Oh, I don't know, months to get this done. First it was 1.5. And then the next thing was the Herobrine's return. And that was all well and good, but you know, this is a weekly series that put me off for about a week. Just uh just, you know, been itching to get back into Toycraft. And then the week after that, which was last week, we fought a wither, and uh, we we bought a wither, and then we fought it, <laughs> or, or we bought the wither head, I guess. No, actually, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? But uh, who cares? So there's my old apartment, and we are actually moving on up to the big, big apartment on the east side. Yeah, that's how it goes. And this is it. Doesn't look like much, does it? But we are going to make this look fabulous. Everyone on this server is going to be jealous of, of this apartment. Let me tell you. And so I've been spending the last few days getting supplies. These are all the supplies we'll need to deck out this place, including record. Which, there we go. Excellent. Now, I've been watching a lot of B-dubs and Jenny B. And they play this thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And I hated it. I hate it. I hate it. I hated it with every fiber of my being. It's just, oh gosh, it was just horrible. I mean, even the notes were kind of off. But the more they played it, well, let's just say the more they played it, the more it kind of grew on me. Oh, especially this part. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts. So, anyway, that just goes to show you. Uh, what goes there? That just goes to show you, if you repeat something often enough, you'll start to like it. That's just how it is. All right, so we are going to uh, work on the living room tonight. And I think we're going to start out by putting in carpet. Um, let me check my reference images. Yeah. We're going to... Um, actually make this bit wood first so we're gonna cut out all this now I've made this place uh, I've made the floors too high two blocks high unlike other places um, because I wanted to do something uh, with the living room and just to give it a bit of depth so 
We will discover that in just a minute. Where is my birch wood? Okay, great. There we go. Yeah, because I don't need any more of that stuff. All right, so we're just going to place this down here. Okay. Hang on just a quick second. All right. Sorry, had to uh, start my timer. Forgot to do that. All right. Yeah, this is some blues. I don't usually go for blues. I think it's blues. Is it blues? I don't know. It, 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 either way. Um, it's, uh, am I, am I, oh, I'm out. Okay. So, either way, it's good music. But I won't bore you by uh, doing it multiple times. All right, so we need one more here. Okay, perfect. All right, so did I get this right? I have a feeling the entrance is a little off. I think I need to move it over one. Yeah, I think I need to move it over one. So this actually is going to go... I think this is going to go down. Mm, maybe. We'll, we'll worry about it later. So for now, I just need to get my carpet laid out. And, uh, oh, we need the gray wool and the red wool. We'll put that back for now. Actually, I'll just stick it up there because I don't need it. And uh, I'm just going to trace out the edge of the living room here. So the edge. Yeah, yep. We don't need any of you. Get out, get out, go, 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 go away, go away. Awesome. Okay. So we're just going to get rid of this stuff. There we go. All right. So this is the first time I've, I've really done kind of a solo episode. Um, oops. I guess I didn't need to do that with a pickaxe. Whatever. Uh, and the reason would be, oh, probably, you know, nervousness about... Uh, actually doing an episode where, um, you know, it, just having to carry an episode by yourself, it just seems a little, uh, how you might say, nerve-wracking to do it on your first time. So, you know, haven't done it yet. And the reason would be, oh, sorry, just checking something here, just to make sure we are right and it looks like we are um yeah yeah we're 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 good we're we're doing good all right so yeah we are, we're definitely moving everything over one so these are going bye bye just kind of cut those out um So what was I talking about? I think, I, oh yeah, I was talking about doing this by myself. So this is really my first chance at uh, trying this by myself, which is great. Gives you good practice. And let me just work on this here. Okay, so I need, I don't think I'm gonna be shooting anybody here. Pop that right there, I think. Mm, one more out. Actually, no, 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 no. Sorry. It's really. I have an idea of what I want to do. And what I want to do is not exactly how I laid this out before. It's just a little different. Move some stuff around. And this is part of it. Now, the stairs will still be too wide, so this entrance will move over one block. And, uh, okay, so that's why those weren't there. Okay, so the entrance will move over one block, but we'll worry about that once I get this done. All right, so we're going to pop those here. That looks good. And let's do some stair stepping. All right, so stair here. No, wait, stair there? 
No, 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 no. Wow, that is a powerful pickaxe. All right, so stair there, stair there. Uh, block there, block there, stair there. And we'll have a stair, an end thing here. And then up here, I think what we're doing is um, some brown wool and stuff. So let's just get rid of this stuff here. Just ugly, gross, and you. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, I have some birch stairs. All right, so I already had birch stairs. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reorienting yourself like that. But we were actually after brown wool, weren't we? So let's go look for some brown wool. Oh, did you hear that? That was my Captain Sparkles. I can do a Captain Sparkles voice, kind of. So, all righty. All righty. So we're just going to lay out some carpet up here after we get rid of these. Because nobody likes netherrack. Go away, netherrack. You're unwanted here. Horrible human being. Yes, you are. You're not even a human being. What am I talking about? Okay, so. Just going to lay out the floor here. Okay, right there. Do, 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 do. There we go. Awesome. So this is turning out very well think. Alright, so right there and right there and I want to say that these are going to be quartz blocks all the way down. Mm -mm. Block. Yeah, yeah, we'll do quartz blocks all the way down here. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, that actually, we don't need you there because we are going to put some wool there once we're done. Okay, so, all right, so we've got our mezzanine kind of done, at least the basic floor. Um, we're going to finish up the carpet here. Okay, so we're laying down the carpet. And I always, I kind of like doing the black border like this. It's just kind of a neat looking. Not sure why, but it just is. All righty. Um, I th think that'll go there. Yeah. And we're just going to get rid of this stuff because I actually have an idea for this that's different. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's eat. Boy, this this will look great once the sun comes up. Of course, Vornox's tower, Clark's tower, actually, it's going to uh, kind of block the sun a bit. But, you know, it's a good view. Um, okay, there we go. So, a couple weeks ago, my boss, he invited me to go to an Irish theater. Now... I'm not really the theater going type of guy. It uh just something about it you know, just just not kind of just not me to be honest. Now, a lot of things are me. And you know, I like musical theater. Um which is great. You get the songs, you get the dancing. Uh some dramas are good. Um, I think one of my favorites was like, um, Ragtime. We saw that in Wichita, Kansas one year. And that thing, um, it was a great production. I mean, I, I can't really remember the story too well. It was, it was about a, a black man that was, I think he was down on his luck and, and, um, it's, one of these scenes, and this just stands out to me because they captured it beautifully, is um, this kind of scene of a, a 
uh, he's, he's running after a train that's departing the station. Now, how do you do that on stage? Well, they capture the, um, they show the back of the train, like the caboose. Um, just the very, the very back, not, not the side of it, just the back of the caboose. And they show it kind of departing the station with people standing on it. And, in, it, you know, it's just a kind of a flat set piece that recedes in the background. But they had uh, pillars on either side that were going to represent the station pillars. And those, when the train started pulling out, the train didn't actually move too much. Uh, what moved were the pillars, and they moved kind of stage left and stage right uh, in tandem with each other. So they had two pillars on one side, one was in the foreground, one was um, kind of in the background next to the caboose. And those kind of moved out in kind of a, like a parallax type of thing. And then they had two other pillars on the other side doing the same thing. And they accomplished a visual effect that just had me, um, quite frankly, really dazzled. Because what they managed to do and uh, hang on just a minute. Yeah, what, what they managed to do was to give you the visual effect like the train was actually moving, at least from where I was sitting in the audience. And that was really, really cool. So, you know, if you go to musical theater and, and all these big stage productions, you'll see cool things like that. Um, but... Let's see here. How many out do I... Actually, I think that's too many. Yeah, I think that's way too many. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Eh, I'm trying to get my bearings here. That, that looks okay so far. We're kind of getting some carpet in there. Um, I, I want... The reason why I did the, the two high floors was to do the, the living room pit. So we're going to have some um, kind of couches and chairs down here with a um, uh, kind of a, like a coffee table kind of thing. And to do that, I really need to kind of figure this area out because I'm going to put some, well, let me show you. Let's go ahead and grab some of the uh, the quartz pillar. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, all right. So let's go ahead and um, put one right here. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And I want one right here. Okay. Okay. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get those out of there. Oop, oop. There, that looks good. All right, so one of those here, one of these here. Okay, so now I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Um, we're going to take this out here a ways. I really should bring shears. That would go a little faster, wouldn't it? Oh, well. So we'll just uh, pop those out there. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So how is this looking? Um, and no, 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 no. No, nope, no, no, no. Still too far over. Because you see this, I, I kind of want the pit to be centered on this uh, kind of the centered double column here. And it's definitely off kilter. So we need to come one more in here. So let me just knock these out again. There we go. Oh, I can pop you there. Boop. Okay. Yeah, now this is looking... Oh. Need that red piece. There we go. All right. So this is definitely looking more, um, definitely closer to what we're thinking of. And pop it right there. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Okay. I think I, uh, I think I got a good idea of how this works. Um, 
Yeah. So I think this goes one more in. Maybe. Not really sure. Mm. Nah. Let's do this. Let's put this right here. And we'll just come over here. And leave it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up the floor here. And once the floor is done, I'll come back from a quick commercial break. And then we will start on furnishings and, and stuff. All right? Hey, everybody. We are back. As you can see, the carpet is fully laid out except for these lights and this pit of sandstone here. Uh, these things are actually from the apartment below, so we are not going to... Um, uh, we're definitely not going to erase them. Definitely not. But what we are going to do is do a little bit of interior decorating. And I am going to start out by putting in one of these couches. Now these couches, it's gonna wrap around here. Perfect. It's kinda like that. And um, let's see. Do we wanna go further in? I don't know. I think that kinda works good. And then here, do I have? Yep, there we go. Let's just pop these here. Here, we're going to have like these kind of staircases, but it's still going to be kind of um, kind of seating area, kind of not. And we're just going to do that. Um, and hmm, I don't know if I want that last one there. We'll see how it looks when it's done. I, 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 I don't remember. So all right, so now we want a bit of a coffee table. I think what I'm going to do is put the coffee table here, put it right there, and then I think right under here, we're going to build a chandelier. But uh, first, I got some bookshelves. Now I think these, uh, yeah, okay, so I have a silk pick, uh, silk touch pick, um, so in case these don't look good or I misplaced them, I think we'll be okay. Um, uh, let's get rid of this and this. There we go. Pop that right there. Pop that right there. And then one, two, three. Three, 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 three. Hmm. Do we want one right there? Hmm. Something don't look right. I don't think I want that one there. I definitely don't want that one there. Um, do I have my... No, I don't have it with me. Okay. Uh, we will just leave that there, and I will fix it later. So, I was going to put trap doors on either side of these, just to kind of give these an armrest. And on this server, uh, there's a plug-in that lets you lock things. So, we're going to do that. Okay. So that's successfully, and now I'm the only one who can lower the armrest, because I know that's kind of a popular prank around here. So we're definitely not going to do that. Nope, no way. All right, so uh, once that's done, yeah, well, let's go ahead and work on the chandelier, because I can do that. While we're working, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue the story I was telling you about uh, going to the Irish Theater. I actually kind of got sidetracked on that, didn't I? Um, so let's do another torch, and I have, okay, great, so we're just going to do that, and I think I need, I think I need one of these, and maybe some of these, all right, so, uh, my boss invited me a couple weeks ago to this, uh, Irish theater, uh, which is here in Portland, all oh, right, I can't do that, okay, and, um, a little high up there, aren't we? Okay. There we go. So, the, uh, 
the Irish theater is kind of a new thing, uh, at least around here. Um, I'm not sure if they had one or not before, but this was a brand new one. And so my uncle and I, uh, uncle, my boss, he's kind of like an uncle, actually. He's, we, we actually get along on great terms. Um, uh, let me look over here. Is that as low as I want to get? Mm. Yeah, I think that's about right. All right, so um, he invited us. We went downtown to this place on a, I think it was a Wednesday night um, in downtown Portland called Kells Irish Bar. Now, I've never been there before, but it is a, it, it is kind of a curious place, I thought, to hold a, a new theater. You know, I thought we would go to a, a theater, but no, it turns out this is actually kind of a one-man play, so you don't need a whole lot of, you know, stage room, and it would probably look a little pretentious if you uh, did have that kind of uh, large stage just for a single man. Um, so we went there, walked in, paid for parking, you know, and, you know, just your standard bar, waitresses, the bar, um, do, 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 do. And, uh, you know, food and, you know, the bar is kind of this thing that long, runs along one side. It's made of kind of this dark kind of uh, sprucey type of wood. I'm not really sure what. I didn't get a good look at it. And we walk in, nothing, nobody. Uh, there's nothing around. We're just kind of wondering where, wh where is the play, you know. And so we just kind of walk around a little bit and, you know, it's not a big area. Um, do I want that there? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so finally we asked the waitress. She says, oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Who knew there was an upstairs? So we go upstairs and this is this wide open kind of banquet hall type of place, which is not bar like at all. It is completely different. Um, completely um, neutral as to there you are okay yeah uh-huh yep that's that's what we want so you know it's uh it's actually looking kind of respectable and there's a bunch of chairs lined up in one corner and hang on And, you know, this uh, seated probably about 50 people. So that was kind of the audience size. So we get seated, wait for the play to start. And it uh, turns out play is uh, not your normal one-man one play. It actually is a uh, soliloquy. Well, most one-man play, one plays are. But, but this gentleman, about uh, oh, mid-60s maybe, comes out. Let's see, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, okay, so we need to get rid of these. Okay. And he comes out. I I swear his voice is mic'd when, when I first see it, when I first hear it, um, because it was that booming, that loud, um, just amazingly loud. And he's not really trying to do an Irish accent at all. Um, he, he kind of slips into it a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor. Very good actor as far as I can tell. Uh, but, yeah, he um, he just kind of held your attention uh, for the first 45 minutes of the, um, doop, there we go, of the play. And it's very interesting. It's about a, uh, it was a play called St. Nicholas. And I never heard of it before. Uh, I don't know who has. Let's see. Is that how I want it to look? Maybe. Well, I'll line it up later. So the play is called St. Nicholas. It is about a theater critic. So, you know, that, that elicits some laughs right there. And I just forgot to paste that up. Oh, got it. All right. Okay. So. Um, that's not right. 
Yeah, it's not right at all. And the theater critic guy is, you know, he's the main character. And he actually ends up kind of lying about a, uh, a, a review of a play he's written. Because, you know, he's telling us he's become so jaded that, you know, he just, he, he can write the play like five minutes before, uh, you know, five minutes after the curtain opens, you know. So it's, uh, you know, very jaded, hates everything he sees, just really kind of uh, down on the whole prospect of theater. And he sees this lovely girl at the after party. And she was actually one of the main characters, uh, one of the um, uh, da, 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 theater people. Yeah, the actors. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell it's late because I'm, I'm, I'm losing my vocabulary. So, you know, he, he kind of, he, he lies to her, tells her he wrote a great review. And then that later that evening, he gets drunk, he hates himself, and he decides to chase after her to London. And so he stumbles into her apartment after a show there and just, you know, completely and totally wasted and just, you know, just awful and, you know, has no idea what he's doing, why he's there, you know, anyway. Ends up, at the end of the act, he runs into vampires. Left turn number one. And that's what the play is about, is, is about vampires. Which is, um, I guess this is a common trope in Irish theater, um, which is basically telling a huge tall tale for why, you know, you've been gone for so long. I, I, I think that that's what the um, intent was. Um, at least the, the trope was. Um, so, you know. Oh, that needs some uh, wool, don't it? All right, so let me go get some wool. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to build a bit of a library. Do I have my bookshelves here, or did I put them back? Um, where are my bookshelves? Oh, there's, yep, I got them. Duh. Winning. All right, so we're going to build some library here. And that is going to start right here. Mm. Pop it right there. Okay. So that's the uh, the break for the act. And after that, he comes back and he talks about how he essentially becomes kind of this guy who goes out and recruits youngsters to party for these, uh, you know, crazy vampires who want to suck people's blood. And now the sucking on their neck doesn't kill the uh, victims. It just kind of uh, makes them feel like they've been on a drug trip, you know. So that's kind of how that went. What else am I looking for here? I think that's about right. And we're going to put some block right there. Actually, uh, actually, I don't think anything went there. Oh, well. So, pop those out. There we go. All right. So, long story short, ends up he is kind of recruiting for these losers. Not sure why. And ends up going home. That's kind of the play. Now, like I said, not my thing, but if you're interested, um, the people who put it on are Corb Theater, C-O-R-R-I-B, I think. And what they did was um, they, they've got a website set up or whatever. And they're going to do some more uh, plays in the future. And they should also be just as interesting. So if that's your thing, go for it. Uh, you know, ain't judging. Actually, it ain't something I would judge. I mean, it's just not my thing. So uh, there we go. Need that. So, yeah, that's that's about it.
for that story. Mm, let's see, what else do we need here? I think we need some furniture. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up the episode after I do the furniture, I think. Yeah. Well, but I think it's, I think it's turning out pretty well. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do in that corner over there. It uh, kind of makes me want to... Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um... I think I'm going to put one right there. One right there. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to put that right there. And... I need a stair. I need a stair. How do I get a stair? Not Fred. Just just a regular spruce stair. There it is. Sweet. All right. I'm going to put a stair here, and this will be kind of like a reading nook. All right. Perfect. Um, I think uh, next time we will finish up the living room and move on into uh, one of the other rooms. Uh, maybe actually work on the hallway and make it a decent hallway. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, add furniture. I, I'm just going to wait for next week because I think we're kind of getting toward the 30-minute mark. And, um, yeah, just uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, let's, yep, okay. All right, so we are going to see you next week, and we are going to talk about... Well, I already talked about that, didn't I? Yeah, it's late at night. All right, anyway, but while I'm babbling, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here and say thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. We're going to really pimp out this apartment. And let me tell you, I have plans. I have plans. Mm -hmm. We are going to do something with this room and this little nook right back here that is going to be great. Let's just say... Old Sheepport needs a superhero, and superheroes need super caves, layers, places to hide from the bad guys. Because let me tell you, people are afraid to venture out of their doors. Nobody is on the streets. See that down there? Empty street. Just nothing. There. So we'll see you next week. Have a great night, great evening, great afternoon, morning, wherever you are, whatever you are. We'll see you then. Bye. So, I forgot to say, if you want to leave feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comments form below. And, of course, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, up in the left box, right there, that's going to be our Herobrine's Return Adventure Map playthrough. Syntax, Clark Clark, me, and Comet. Or Comet 2, as he prefers to be called. We go through the new map by Hypixel to save some generic land from the evil clutches of Herobrine. On the right, you'll see part two of Matthew and I's playthrough of the Aseals Flashpoint on the Old Republic. So go ahead and click on that if you're a Star Wars fan. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you haven't done that yet. I'm actually using that account mostly for Minecraft stuff these days, so... You know, you ain't going to see anything else on there but, you know, me and my thoughts and kind of what I like about Minecraft and uh, some other fun stuff that, uh, you know, just occurs to me as it occurs to me. So go ahead and head over to Twitter and give me a follow. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.